ইম্পর্টেন্ট ক্লাস এখন এটা আমরা ঠিক করেছি যে তোমাদেরকে কতগুলো প্রবলেম ইয়ে করে আমরা দিয়ে দেব ঠিক আছে মেলে পাঠিয়ে দেব তোমরা ওগুলো সলভ করে অ্যাজ এ রিপোর্ট জমা করবে তো তার জন্য কি মানে এই কমন ইমেল আইডিতে দিয়ে দেবো তো মানে আমরাই চয়েস করে ধরো প্রিভিয়াস ইয়ারে যেরকম যেরকম প্রবলেম হতো নাকি তোমাদের কোনো চয়েস আছে যে আমরা এই টাইপের প্রবলেম করতে চাই নর্মালি হয় কি আগের বছরে আমরা ইন্ডিভিজুয়াল প্রজেক্ট দিতাম গ্রুপ ওয়াইজ ধরো তিনজন চারজন মিলে একটা করে প্রজেক্ট দিতাম সে ফর এক্সাম্পল সে পাওয়ার ফ্যাক্টার ইম্প্রুভমেন্ট অফ সে ডোমেস্টিক সার্কিট এনে নিলে এবারে তোমরা ইউ সার্চ লিটারেচার ফাইন্ড আউট দ্য মিনস অ্যান্ড দেন ডিজাইন সাম সার্কিট and either you implement mostly implement korte hi bola hoto hmm practically minimum jeta seta hocche matlab implementation at least ebong setar tarpor eta seminar dite tumra je how how you have done it what are the problems like that eta chilo the method this method was followed earlier so under this situation rather under this circumstances amra bhabchi je tomader ke ডাইরেক্টলি কিছু প্রজেক্ট ধরো গ্রুপ ওয়াইজ দিয়ে দিলাম এবারে তোমরা থাকলো ইউ সাবমিট টু আস এবারে কি হবে ওই সেশনাল ডকুমেন্টের উপর আমরা তোমাদের ওই হান্ড্রেড মার্কস এ যেটা হয় আমরা মার্ক দিতে পারবো सुविधा ठीक আর কোন এর মধ্যে তোমরা যদি ফিল করো যে এটা আমরা বুঝতে পারছি না এখানটা কি করব দেন ইউ ক্যান কন্ট্যাক্ট আস অলসো এই যে ধরো এটা ক্লাস হচ্ছে এখানে জিজ্ঞেস করতে পারো বা অন্য ইয়ে তো ফোন করে জিজ্ঞেস করতে পারো ঠিক আছে এটা অবশ্যই আছে সব সময় তো আজকে তাহলে একটু মনে করে তোমাদের রোল শিটটা আমাকে একটু মেল করে দিও হ্যাঁ ওকে স্যার ওকে আচ্ছা আমি তাহলে ক্লাস শুরু করছি এক মিনিট আমি একটা জিনিস করে নি
দিন আমরা কতদূর পড়েছিলাম মনে আছে ডিসি মোটর স্টার্টিং ইত্যাদি ইত্যাদি দেখছিলাম আমার যতটুকু মনে পড়ছে তো স্ক্রিন ভিজিবল টু ইউ দেখা যাচ্ছে স্ক্রিন না यस सर ওকে ওকে তো নাও উই ওয়ার ডিসকাসিং So I think we completed this DC motor starting and we completed, okay. Now, if I get a sort of the way, if I start breaking, breaking, starting, actually, motor rail drives it. There are uh, three accents, normally starting, braking, and speed control. Okay. Of course, you can say that the speed control is a part of all of them. Uh, rather, all of them are part of speed control. Uh, like, say, braking, free running, and, and, and starting, all those things. But, but we, can, we are separating them out just to understand these phenomena in a, in a different way. Okay. এখানে ব্যাপারটা হচ্ছে যে যদি ব্রেকিং দেখো দেয়ার আর ফিউ মেথডস ফিউ মেথডস অফ ব্রেকিং ওকে তোমরা জানো মেথডস অফ ব্রেকিং ফর এ মোটর অ্যাটলিস্ট এ ডিসি মোটর জানো পড়া হচ্ছে ড্রাইভস এ ও ড্রাইভস এ সেমিস্টার নেই নাকি লাস্ট সেমে ছিল স্যার লাস্ট সেমে ছিল তো পড়ে তো What are the methods of braking for DC motor? There are only three methods. What do you say? Regenerative braking. Rheostatic or dynamic braking. Counter current braking. Counter current braking. Plugging. Right? Regeneration, counter current, dynamic. There are three types. Okay. So we are we are discussing, uh, we will be discussing a few. Maybe let us say it is a counter current breaking, whatever uh, is discussed here. This one. Counter current money. Suddenly we will give a reverse voltage across the field or across the armature. Torque will be reversed. Breaking means what? Breaking means you want to stop it. Right? তো স্টপ করতে গেলে কি করতে হবে একটা হচ্ছে তুমি পুরো পাওয়ার সাপ্লাই ছেড়ে দাও নো ইনপুট পাওয়ার সো ইট উইল অটোমেটিক্যালি ব্রেক ডিউ টু ইটস ইনার্সিয়া অর ইউ ক্যান সে লোড ইজ দেয়ার লোড ইনার্সিয়া অলসো উইল হেল্প ইট টু কাম টু স্টপ রাইট বাট দিস ব্রেকিং ইজ নট ডিজায়ার্ড অ্যাকচুয়ালি ইউ ডু নট নো হোয়ার ইট উইল স্টপ রাইট ব্রেকিং মিনস ইউ শুড হ্যাভ এ স্পেসিফিক টাইম or a specific distance to be covered like in a, you are you are uh, riding a bicycle right so suddenly you see a man in front or anything in front so you want to break it otherwise if you just stop paddling what will happen you will invariably hit hit a man or hit other objects which are, which are in in front of you so breaking means you 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 have to have you have to apply some additional uh, say methods maybe force Yeah, to uh, to stop the machine within a specified limit, maybe a time limit, maybe a distance limit, if it is a running one. Yeah, so this thing. So now, normally, counter current is actually 
you have to produce a reverse torque so that uh, the machine comes in to stop very quickly now mind it reverse torque mane hocche how how uh, torque is actually k phi ia if you remember the torque equation for dc machine so either you have to make phi minus i negative or ia negative any one of them will make the torque negative and thus it will uh, try to break the machine right but usually what is done flux is never re never reversed usually armature current is reversed this is because of the fact that armature circuit is, is having uh, a very uh, low time constant lyr ratio is very low armature circuit right then if you see it's a first order uh, equation and then uh, l by r ratio is small so naturally your your current plot right your your current response will be very fast it will try to reach it, it will it will try to reach uh, the steady state value uh, very quickly but for in uh, for, but for uh, field circuit you see the inductance is quite large field inductance field has got very large number of turns for sun machine and even for series machine also you will be you will see that ampere turn is very high right so naturally in order to reverse the flux the time required is very large so the purpose will not be solved so to get a reverse flux uh, to a rated value uh, so it, it takes so much of time so the purpose of quick breaking is not uh, is not achieved or is not uh, fulfilled so because of the reason armature supply is generally rather say always reversed so now you have seen it in your uh, drives classes it is reversed but how it is reversed it is reversed through this uh, diagram as you see with the help of two contactors now see you have two uh, contactors is shown one is forward one is reverse contact so what is done normal case so the forward uh, contactor is on so that the power supply is like this positive negative i think you are able to see it properly or not i will expand it to show you a little more uh, better way so you see here that there are two contactors c1 and c2 c1 and c2 right c1 and c2 so c1 or c left side and right side both c2 is also in the middle this one now when c1 is on actually positive supply is entering uh, positive uh, supply is entering the left hand side uh, uh, machine and then it is returning through the negative one right but when c2 a field circuit is fixed right only armature circuit when, when c1 is off and c2 is on see that positive is connected through c1 to the right side and negative is connected through c2 to the left side that means reverse armature supply is given now then what will happen initially if c1 is on it is running in forward direction suddenly c1 is off and c2 is on so the motor gets the supply and naturally negative negative torque and it tries to stop very quickly and in order to stop it actually you have to see that the when the motor speed is zero you have to switch off c2 otherwise it will try to run in the reverse direction right so then there are few complexities now if you look at the torque speed graphs so torque speed graph is like this what is shown in the right hand side uh, like what is shown in the right hand side so in normal operation actually right side you see that omega this is the, uh, this is the operating point at say uh, the horizontal line uh, in the top which is shown the omega which is crossing the y axis now that point is the operating speed under steady state condition right when the forward supply is given and suddenly when the supply is reversed actually right armature supply the speed to characteristics change to below one below one means just below which is just parallel to the uh, torque speed carries in the first quadrant it the operation goes to third quadrant but unfortunately see here you will find initially the speed will not change 
so the motor will try to find an operating point at the same speed on the characteristics which is below that means what is going to happen the negative torque become quite large and armature current will be very large right so naturally this is not done in practice a resistance is connected in series when the supply is reversed like what is shown in the figure a resistance is connected so now the characteristic shifts to the upper one that means it crosses uh, this uh, x axis rather torque axis at point a and then the speed shifts to rather the operating point shifts to the left hand side right and then it comes back and when it is at point a you have to switch off the supply otherwise it will try to rotate in the reverse direction so this is the phenomena so how will you do it in practice how will you do it in practice for automation so then uh, this thing uh, i have uh, told that when vt is minus vt so ia is nothing but minus of vt plus k5 by ra k5 omega by ra now phi is rated omega is same at the point of switching so then vt plus eb by ra so then it becomes uh, double the starting current almost okay because eb is nearly equal to vt so then to avoid this external resistance is connected which one which is which is uh, written here so now in case of automatic circuits or the plc based automation circuits so you do you press the start button and then uh, this is a start stop and this is a contactor c2 c1 contacts now when you start it actually the c1 gets energized that means c1 means the forward forward motion and then it gets latched through this now during uh, plug breaking so you press the button below now c2 is energized so as soon as c2 is energized c1 is deenergized so c2 becomes uh, gets latched right latched and this flag f1 now this flag f1 actually this f1 uh, you have to come to the next uh, page to know this i think uh, this given so the flag is f1 is energized at the zero speed so what do you need that you have to stop it at zero speed so you have to get the input analog input of speed and then compare it with zero now when it is equal to zero f1 gets energized and then actually you see that f1 actually delatches c2 in this phase delatches c2 so f1 is on means this in contact this will open so c2 is delatched it is stopped so that is the plc realization or plc implementation for uh, this uh, plug, uh, this plug breaking through uh, ladder logic okay so this is what so you have to remember uh, these things uh, the other part is the dynamic breaking dynamic breaking now uh, uh, so one thing i was telling you that regarding series motor series motor also the characteristics is similar c1 c2 so you have to do something that the field circuit you have to connect the contactor after the field circuit so that the field current is not reversed only armature current is reversed so this is the configuration and the characteristics are uh, uh, plotted here in breaking so you have to stop at this zero crossing point a right this is what so now for dynamic breaking now dynamic breaking if you remember there are two two parts of dynamic breaking one is disconnect the armature from the supply disconnect from the supply and connect the armature across the resistance now what is the effect actually as i was telling so you stop paddling or you you, you have to stop a fan or stop a motor you stop the supply so then what is going to happen if you stop the supply first just then the motor will try to run on its own inertia until the frictional force is actually uh, dissipating some energy its uh, kinetic energy and then ultimately uh, when the kinetic energy becomes zero so it, it comes into a stop but then this becomes infinite time uh, infinite means actually non deterministic time you can say 
uh, you don't know when it is going to stop. It depends on many factors like, say, frictional of the frictional force of the uh, bearings and then air friction and then uh, you can say load connected, maybe full load, half load, etc. So maybe no load. So so this is a non-deterministic time. So then in this method, what is done, the, the motor uh, uh, during braking is, uh, is actually uh, operated like a generator. And the uh, kinetic energy, which is there in the rotor, is used to develop certain EMF. Actually, it will be developing certain EMF. And that EMF will flow some current through uh, some, some load current through a, through a dumping resistance. And the power dissipated in the resistance uh, will, will try to make the stock quicker. So this is the idea, actually. So instead of uh, resistance, rheostat was used earlier. So that is why it is known as rheostatic braking. So why rheostat is needed? So that is also, I will tell you. So these are the two uh, steps for dynamic braking. These are the two steps. Disconnect the armature from the supply and connect the armature across the resistance. Now, you see the method again, I will be discussing a little bit. Now, here, uh, here you see, the method is done here. So C1 and C1, see if you see, C1 and C1. So these are the uh, uh, contactor, these C1 contactor responsible for running the machine. So when you, when you start the machine, C1 is on, right? And field circuit is there, so it is running like normal with a load or without a load, whatever it is. Now when you need to break, so you, you press the break button, then what will happen? C1 becomes off and C2 becomes on. So then the induced EMF here due to the field, because field is there, it is running also. Now that induced EMF gets connected across this resistance, R external. So then the current flows and, and heat is dissipated here. And uh, actually there's a fine leak energy that is dissipated as heat here. And then uh, actually the machine comes into a stop. So uh, if you see the, the, the PLC best implementation, it is start. That means C1 is on as it is, then break. The C2 is on and C2 will disconnect C1. And then finally it will come to a stop. So we not have to wait for, I mean, uh, bring the signal up, say, uh, speed and then disconnect everything and all. So as soon as uh, uh, the machine is stopped, so actually uh, the, you, you, you can actually uh, you can reset it. The reset button is there, and then you can go for starting, right? So C2 gets de-energized. Now, in terms of in terms of mathematical modeling of the braking system, so you can go for IA equal to minus CB by RA plus R external because actually minus. I, Initially, current was entering, if you see here. And then when it is breaking, current is leaving, leaving, and then uh, coming uh, from this point, uh, left-hand side to resistance. So current gets reversed. So that is why the sign of the current is actually given negative. And torque then will be negative, negative torque K into IA. IA is R A plus R external. So then EB again, K by omega. So then actually, sorry, EB K by omega. So k phi square omega. Oh, uh, you people keep on entering throughout the class. Uh, right. So then actually, are, then actually, uh, so so speed torque characteristics. The straight line, uh -huh. hmm. now say if you if you see it actually t equal to minus k phi square omega by r a plus r external that is equal to minus c omega. That means you find a straight line minus c is this line, so you you find a straight line actually which is crossing through the origin. Uh, passing through the origin. Now, actually, uh, there are uh, some some drawbacks also. So, why rheostat was used actually? Now we see torque, breaking torque. This above equation shows you the breaking torque, which is actually a function of omega. 
right so as omega is reducing your braking torque reducing so then if braking torque is reducing so what is going to happen the motor comes to stop slower and slower so we do not want so you need to keep the braking torque constant so that can so happen uh, that can only happen rather if you if you actually with omega if you can increase this constant c that means the c omega product remains fixed now out of which you see kfi is always fixed ra is always fixed you cannot have any control over this two because they are fixed things fixed for the machine so the only thing which you can control is r external right so then if you reduce r external with speed speed reduction r external reduction because ra is almost uh, negligible compared to r external you can say now omega by r external value if you keep constant that means if you reduce r external with uh, speed so naturally your torque braking torque can remain constant so that is why a rheostat was used as soon as the speed was becoming slower and slower so one person they uh, can can reduce the resistance through rheostat right or it can so happen you can have split resistances so the the resistances can be switched automatically through plc based uh, plc based circuit like this so you are uh, uh, it's coming back and then switched here coming back and switched here like that and your braking torque remains almost constant with the value right so that is uh, that was done uh, that can down through Uh, split resistance that means you can you can make these resistances uh, into uh, different sections and connect contactors across each of this and then switch on one by one right as the speed is reducing so the, the system can be complex now a uh, series motor inherently actually you see uh, do not have do not have uh, that characteristics Uh, because always uh, the characteristics will be uh, below in the third quadrant right? but still it can be modified uh, well pop a spill circuit like this so series motors also can be uh, used uh, to operate uh, under uh, this key like this way so the characteristics like this so uh, these are the derivation and separately excited motors are like this so so you can see in the books breaking method so breaking methods uh, is not the interest many interest is how to implement it through how to implement it through the uh, you can say uh, plc based programming plc based methods so and really breaking i think uh, i think uh, was shown in earlier case first case which i skipped probably is the regenerative braking system it i think it was there so i skipped it by mistake hey this one this one is regenerative braking but program is not shown so anyway the idea i can give you idea is that so here you see uh, during regeneration means actually the 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 current is reversed with voltage fixed that means v into ia product is negative v into ia product is negative that means power is negative so the machine will be working as a generator right so when it can happen actually now we see that the equation above dt equal to eb minus ira for for a motor so actually uh, uh this is for a generator actually we did it be plus ira i don't know how, how it has been okay regenerative braking i think something some mistake is there
BT will be EB plus IR. So I'll just I'll just uh, check eh? check this regional report and I'll I'll tell you uh, afterwards. Afterwards means the next class. Well, this is uh, here I, I find that some something wrong is there. Okay, so this person is covered. Uh, now, now we go for induction machine. Induction machine, PLC implementation. Starting, uh, starting, uh, then breaking, and then uh, speed control. We will discuss in the end. So induction motor, three phase induction motor. Now, uh, you see the starting methods of induction motor. What are the starting methods you have read for induction motors? Do you remember? Sir, auto transform method actor. And auto transformer. Sir, auto, -tran auto transformer, uh, uh, start delta method. Start delta method. And direct online doll method, yeah. yes. Yeah. And then reactants. Okay. So, yeah. so these are the so why this uh, starting methods are required actually it is a similar situation like a DC machine, right? DC machine the starters were required actually to reduce the starting current. So also if you directly give a supply to an induction machine, three-phase induction machine. So forget about single phase. All of them will have the same phenomena, but we are talking about three-phase. So if uh, a three-phase induction machine is directly given a supply, so normally what is going to happen? Its speed is zero initially. Okay. So therefore, actually, the rotor will behave like a short-circuited transformer, short-circuited secondary transformer, secondary short-circuited transformer, right? So it will try to draw very huge current. So now the thing is that uh, we have to reduce the starting current. And the methods are actually this. So uh, direct online is not the method. It is actually, uh, I'll tell you uh, where it can be applicable. But this is a method of starting direct, like this what I am telling. And the other methods actually, they reduce current, right? This uh, reactant starting, auto transport starting or this start delta starting but the drawback is that uh, besides current it reduces the starting torque also right so there's a serious disadvantage so these starters are normally used when actually we don't need a very heavy starting torque. otherwise we have to find some other methods which can be helpful to reduce current as well as having high starting torque that you remember because all these methods they reduce the starting torque is a serious advantage so now uh, this uh, induction machine starting DOL DOL means direct online so this as I have said that if you if you give a direct supply naturally current will be rising to a very high value which is harmful to the power supply power supply means actually uh, sudden uh, increase of current will make the impedance drop high right so the source voltage minus impedance drop is your voltage at the terminal so naturally there will be a voltage dip so those uh, who are having experiences in your home when ac is started or a fan uh, or a pump is started or a refrigerator is started suddenly you find some small jerk of voltage and uh, lights flicker like that. So these are the uh, reasons why these are not directly started, but still there is a starter direct online. So then where is it applicable? Normally these starters will be applicable to machines of lower rating. That means lower rating means within as per specification within 5 HP or 3.5 kilowatt around. Okay. Above which, what will happen? Uh, the application of DOL starter will uh, make a serious increase in current because I'm telling you the the, the no load current. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. The starting current of an induction machine is about six times or seven times of the load current, full load current. 
So now supposing a machine is having a load current of 2 ampere, so sudden uh, starting will give you a 14 ampere current, which is maybe permissible for normal domestic supplies and normal supplies. But if a machine is having a current of 100 ampere at full load, 700 ampere current it will draw during DL starting, that is not permissible. So that is why the kilowatt, kilowatt rating is actually uh, given, limiting kilowatt rating for this uh, techniques. So now this is the technique, nothing but you will, will you just contact our C1 will be on and C based supply will be given to uh, index the machine. So DOL starting, uh, this is the method start, this is the start button, and then the C1 contactor is on and this is the latching contact and it goes. So it keeps on uh, keeps on running. Okay, just a minute, a phone call. Uh, hello. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Tomorrow I'm coming. Uh, tomorrow I'm coming to call. Uh. <laughs> or to tell them to come tomorrow also, the other uh, persons, eh? the Swati and all. Eh? Okay. I'll be coming tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So, uh, like this, so you see um, uh, this. So this is quite simple then, okay. But uh, this is uh, so some protection things also will be there, some, some stopping. And then some overload uh, overload uh, relays will be there, some NC contact here. So that actually, uh, if, if any moment motor is overloaded or you want to stop it, so even you can press this and then delatch C1. So this is the uh, DOL method. Now, start delta method. Start delta method, you know. So there are the condition. There is a condition. No, there is a condition like that. The condition is. Uh, in case of dual starting, you don't have to see whether the motor is delta connected or star connected in a uh, motor stator actually, stator of the um, induction motor is star or delta connected because you just only uh, um, provide the power supply to the three phases. So internally, there will be either star or delta. But for star delta starter, the motor has to be designed in delta connection only because your permanent connection is delta. Right? That you remember. Any motor, you cannot use start delta starting. Uh, you cannot start with start delta starting, right? So uh, the motor has to be a delta connected machine in order to use or in order to implement start delta starter with that motor. Now see, normally what happens, there are two contactors, C1 and C2. Initially, C1 will be on. The machine will be connected in star so that the purpose voltage is 1 by root 3 times the line voltage right so naturally voltage is less current also will be less so actually it will develop uh, less uh, torque because voltage torque proportional to voltage square so if voltage is d by root 3 so torque is 1 by 3 times right? so naturally uh, as soon as the motor speed is picked up right the connection is changed from start to delta that is c2 is on so c2 means it is connection through delta if you if you see the connection on the right hand side so c2 actually connecting the three windings in delta right so one uh, c1 c2 c1 c2 uh, sorry a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 if you see so they are they're connected in delta start finish start finish start finish. start is one coil start is connected to another coil finish but in case of star, all finishes are connected or all stars are connected at the star point, whatever it is. So then this is the implementation, like start, you just give a, you give the push button on and then C1 is on, right? And you have a protection of stop. Maybe an overload also will be there. That is, I have not given. C2 is uh, in C. So then at, after some point, so you can you can implement in two ways at uh, you can uh, apply a speed sensor and wait for the speed to go to a specific value which is uh, proportional to what do we expect with root, root three time uh, root root three times lesser voltage right 
Now uh, at that speed you switch on C2 and switch off C1 or you can estimate your uh, starting time through C1 uh, with your own guessing and wait for some time, say 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 25 seconds like that. And after that, you switch over to C2. So that is what is done here. So from C1, one uh, on delay timer is on. Say it is 10 second written. So after 10 second, T1 contact will be on. So as soon as T1 contact will be on and T1 is on, so actually C2 is switched on. Now when C2 is switched on, C2 will switch off C1 in the top. So and the stop is for both. So at any point, at any point you can stop. So this is the ladder implementation for uh, start delta starting, right? Uh, start delta starting. Uh, this is what. Star T1, F1. As they say, actually, uh, the another uh, another method is given here. Maybe uh, this F1 uh, T2.5 uh, seconds and from T2. We have. So this actually, uh, this actually a different scheme. I was uh, maybe I was thinking. So this you forget. So above scheme only you just remember this one. This one after time delay, T1 will be on, and then T1 will switch on C2. That's all. This one is something different. From T1 to flag and then the flag another T2 T2 from T2 to C and from C2 to UF1. So, so there are uh, many uh, say schemes that can be available. Uh, latch unlatch actually. It is the usage of latching and unlatching. Latch F1 unlatch F1 like that actually. Hmm. The L F1 unlatch F1. So. These are uh, different uh, techniques too, yeah. But basic things you should remember. Huh? This is according to some uh, Siemens, I think, Siemens uh, ladder diagram that you forget. Now I think next day we will discuss the slip ring motor, slip ring motor, right? Right. Now uh, you see that these are actually usually done for squirrel cage induction machine. The start delta starting and uh, this. Uh, uh, DOL starting or uh, say uh, reactant starting. Reactant starting and uh, auto transformer starting does not uh, have that uh, delicacy to be uh, to be uh, implemented through PLC and all. Normally they are not done these days. Either DOL or start delta. These are the two industrial methods normally that are followed. So uh, um, this method can be applied. These two methods can be applicable to both uh, squirrel cage as well as slip ring machines, right? But usually done for slip ring machines. Sorry, squirrel cage machines. Usually done for squirrel cage machines, simply because the slip ring machines have got some advantageous features related to uh, related to this. Related to this, what I was talking that while reducing the armature current, uh, armature current or you can say starting current. We are uh, compromising with starting torque, isn't it? But the slipping machines has the advantage of uh, reduction of armature current, or the, you can say starting current, armature current during starting, without compromising with the torque, without compromising with the starting torque. So that we will be discussing next day. Probably. Huh? Okay. So uh, because one day uh, too many things will confuse you. So we'll we'll see that and after that speed control part and all we'll load and we'll discuss. Okay, so we'll see the other syllabus type types also. So till now, tell me uh, whether you have any degree faced by you uh, or un lack of understanding anything.
Is it understandable? Yes, sir. Okay, then I leave it. Okay. The bill is The class is. Okay, sir. Are you going to be able to do it? No, sir. I have to pay it. I have to pay it, sir. I have to pay it. আমি বলে দিতে পারি আর কোন এসে যায় না কিন্তু এতটা পড়াতে পারলাম এই জন্যই বিকজ আই এম নট ড্রয়িং এনিথিং অন বোর্ড এটা যদি বোর্ডে পড়াতাম এর হাফ হতো বুঝতে পারছো সুতরাং তোমরা বুঝতে পারছো না এটা তোমরা মনে রাখতে হবে কিন্তু হ্যাঁ আমি তো করে বলে দিয়ে যাচ্ছি সেটা তোমরা কিন্তু কিছু ভাবে সাম ওয়ে টু রিমেম্বার বুঝতে পারছো আমি দেখছি এই এই আমার হ্যান্ড রিটেন ठीक